Wait, Counterpoints did a video on me? Endernax, you can't just say that without sell sending it to me. Counterpoints did a video on me? Oh my god, send it to me. All right, we'll react. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, let's see what he has to say. Woo, this is gonna be great. Let's do it. Give me that link, give me that link. That's nothing. Wow, that's impressive, Posadas John. I want in. All right, let's do it. All right. Okay, let's react. We can do the news in a bit. Listen, we got a long day ahead of us. We can do the news in a bit. I want to I wanna indulge. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Four, three. What is this? What the fuck? Boomer shit. Four, three? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, th I'm platforming him right now. I have, like, as many active viewers as he has total views on this video. <laughs> okay, that's not true, but... What are we doing? We're doing real good. Yeah, I literally have half as many active viewers right now as he does total views. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna, listen. I normally don't do this, but let's be real. None of you are gonna go watch fucking this asshole. So let's watch. Hi guys, welcome to Counterpoints. Oh God. Oh my God. That's not, that's Omega Audio. Omega. My name is Connor, and today we are going to be talking about Demon Mama Drama. And the reason why we're going to be doing that is because I want something short, sweet, simple. Short, sweet, and simple, 10 minutes. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I got to put on my CRTV. If you are not into watching the killing of Lavoie Finnegan, and if you're not into watching Shadows of Liberty and I talk for an extended period of time. So I want to make something nice and sweet. Huh? Yes, I know Magatards took over the uh, capital, and we'll talk about that next week once more information no, comes out. No, I just think he's dumb and, and doesn't realize that his down. branding sucks ass. Yeah, but he sounds mad already. What was interesting Let's find out. about the past two weeks is I see a development in the Twitch oh, debate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Demon Mama ending everything. Apocalyptic prognostications. Here we go sphere that I think is incredibly interesting, especially for the dynamics of lefty infighting. So lefty infighting? I'm not even on Twitch anymore. Dude, what the fuck? Whatever. So, Demon Mama, after being a dickhole to me, <laughs> and being a dickhole... He's still mad! Oh, baby, this is spicy. Thank you, Endernax. I owe you one for this one. I owe you a little one. Some other people Spur. got into a debate with a gentleman by the name of Scrub King, and they talked about whether or not compliments to men would help with men's overall uh, mental health. That's not and what we talked about. That would That's not what we talked decrease about. the amount of suicide, maybe change some habits of toxic masculinity, improve society. And what ended up happening was the most milk toast of milky, 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 milky white. Arguments, which I get it. Milk toast is not an actually a, re a reference to toast or milk. Whatever. What? I don't give a fuck. The most milky toasty <laughs> arguments arguing that it would be a minor improvement to society if women were, felt comfortable and gave men compliments for things that were non-sexual we and non-sexual related and not work That's related not and not about. stereotypically masculine related. That's not if what we talked about. Compliments we never, would we never talked about any of those things he just listed. Society and Scrub King was accused of being an incel apologist. Uh, nope, that didn't happen either. Just getting the basic facts wrong, again, as all of these people have, by the way. And what ended up happening was at least a decent chunk of Twitter recognized fucking Demon, demon Mama's, I don't want to say grift, because, like, grift is, uh, you know, when you're doing something shitty intentionally that you don't believe in, it's something that she believes in. But they, they realized the game, and just kind of how gross it is, that you can take somebody who's approaching you in good faith, who's making the... You mean the thing you're trying to do right now, my dude? Smallest of, you know, statements. And to treat them like they are human garbage. And Wait a minute! I'm sorry. Listen, I'm going to stop this a lot. I got called human garbage. I never called, I never once called DSK anything like that. I was called human garbage. I was called, I was told by Destiny that he wants me to die and disappear off the internet. Okay result demon mama got canceled she had to go on an apology tour for a fucking uh, <laughs> i did not have to go on an apology tour that's the opposite of what i had to do Lol. 
This guy. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, on um, Dylan Burns. Yeah. Wait, Haley. I can tell you about this afterwards. Hold on. Let's. We'll talk about it afterwards. She had, or she tried oh to talk god. to uh, Destiny about it and say what you want. Literally. Oh, we'll so talk about cockamous. it. We'll talk about it after. Let's listen to this Dude, first, and I'll tell, tell you after. Myself. In Minecraft or whatever the fuck you're supposed to say. Xander Hall. We're in two and a half minutes in, and he's already talking about how he's going to kill himself. Dude, holy shit. You need to calm the fuck down. I'm sorry. Count counterpoints. I do not think that your anger levels are make the internet healthy for you. I literally thought that Destiny was being unhinged, and all Destiny was doing was doing what Demon Mama does in debates. Hey Vermin. Yeah, guess what? We got we, we got this guy, the, the the serially angry guy who gets mad at me every single time. Uh he did a takedown of my of my drama. Um like and he's literally been wrong about every single fact so far. Like verifiably wrong about every single fact he's claimed so far. It's amazing. He literally just repeated you mad bro over and over again and made faces in demon mama and demon mama's audience that is not again another lie that is not the only thing he said do we all remember do we need to play the? do i need to play the clip again of destiny immediately afterwards saying that i'm a piece of shit i'm harmful to women i'm harmful to trans people i'm harmed to every sjw cause you could possibly imagine do we want to remember that maybe i'll play it again xander hall and some of xander's audience and some of ash's audience literally no, thought that destiny had lost his shit and I don't know, I don't know if they're stupid or if they didn't watch the Destiny video or if they're stupid or if they didn't watch the Destiny video. Wow, this is a bad but video. Like all in he was way. doing was he was repeating the, the tactics of Demon Mama. And for anybody who's seen me in a Twitch debate with Demon he Mama. He did lose his shit. I in fact, have... Destiny literally said, I'm being so unhinged right now in another conversation he had. It, it's actually yeah i know the audio hurts i'm sorry i the, his he, this video vermin this video is shot in 4.3 this is omega video and omega audio it's ridiculous like four debates yeah artemis that's all that anybody saw literally mathematically most people saw only destiny's commentary they never actually saw the unfiltered debate they only heard destiny's extremely unhinged co commentary which was literally so bat like literally mischaracterized me the entire time it's ridiculous twitter i think every single time i said demon mama i respect your intellect i think you're a smart person and i respect you in general you mean like when you called me a cunt totally and each and every single time she has been a ripe cunt to ah! me for no reason wait a minute i'm psychic holy shit <laughs> i'm psychic what the fuck <laughs> Never miss. No reason. We we. I'm an adult. I'm I'm a, a man in my thirties, and a boy I am in your capable 30s. Capable of talking about difficult and complex subjects. I think we have a, a term for that. It's called man if child. If you caught the uh, <laughs> the Prime Kai Reverie Roundtable from January fourth, twenty twenty one, I can be in a room with lefties without raising my voice. A fucking iota. I can have a very calm debate about very serious subjects that gets very nuanced. And if a but, single woman ever disagrees with you, you shit your pants. Hey, Lonnie, good to see ya. Hey. What does chafe my ass is when people take either descriptive reality and deny it, or they take the most obvious, obvious of prescriptive It's mostly misogyny. I'll explain arguments. that after or evidentiary arguments, and they act like I'm fucking Satan reincarnate. It's very frustrating. And I get it's part of the game. No one has acted like you're Satan reincarnated. Everyone just thinks you're a lazy, retired cop who has a shit view on the world and really, really bankrupt intellectual takes. And I get it's part of the grift, and I get it's part of Twitch politics, but that's part of what makes Twitch politics gross. It's part of what make, makes Twitch politics disgusting. And I'm going to be on a it. show with Mike from PA. Then leave it. Uh, I'm going to be on uh, Dylan Burns TV. And I'm wondering which Mike I'm, I'm going to get. Because he was on a panel with Vosh and he was True, relatively calm Herman and polite. Hans. Except for he made like a single dickish comment to Endernax. So if that Mike shows up, I'm not going to yell at him at all. 
But if Mike from PA, the dickhole who takes like the littlest fucking um, littlest comment and then just describes the most malicious of intents and perspectives to his political opponents, I'm going to scream at the guy. I'm going to yell at him and you're going to get some fucking memes out of it because... Hey, Holy that's shit. good to hear, Anthony. We could be making so much more progress if these people literally didn't exist. And it's Whoa, not that we can't be passionate. Dude. I... Whoa! Whoa, my dude! Okay. I don't mind being passionate. Like, uh, Fanatic or whatever, I think he's genuinely fucking passionate. He did a low blow a couple of weeks ago. But I think he's genuinely passionate about his, um, about his perspectives, and that's why he gets pissed off. That's not what bugs me. What bugs me is when you take your anger and your passion, you make it a default perspective in your head. And regardless of what your opponent is saying, you're just a dick for no reason. People like Destiny and me, people like Anthony. Fosh. People Talking about me, Anthony. People like Destiny and they like Fosh despite the fact they're raging assholes. Do you wanna know why? Because they're assholes when somebody treads on the subjects that they are passionate I don't know. about. They are I don't know, Connor Points. People really seem to be liking me. Listen, I don't know how many viewers we got right now. Ooh, 224? Hey, everybody. By the way, if you haven't liked the stream, 100 of you haven't, please like the stream. It really helps the stream a lot. So if you like me, like the stream, and consider subscribing and ringing that hell bell. There you go. <laughs> got my plug in. But 224 people are here watching me, so... Thank you all. Assholes. When somebody says something that they think is stupid or that they dislike, they are not callously and, I and like you all. defaultingly angry at everyone all the time or else they would not have grown as large as they are. And this is what I'm afraid of. Yo, because listen, from PA it's really funny, but Vosh, I, listen, I am an OG Vosh fan, okay? OG. I've been watching Vosh since the Twitch days, okay? And I know Vosh was way angrier than he used to be. He's way angrier than I was when I was at, than I am at this point. And I love that because it was great. It was great to have somebody be angry and represent the fucking fury that we have against these people. I remember it like it was fucking yesterday. Angry Vosh, way angrier than I have been, but you know. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, by the way. I like it. I like it when people are angry for the right reasons. Anyway. Hey, I want to say he like blew up and then he died off. Like, I have no idea. Like, I, I, I barely fucking see the guy at all. And I jumped on his Twitch views and seems pretty stable with a relatively small audience. If Demon Mama doesn't figure out how to have a normal adult conversation without being a dickhole to everybody all the time, she's just going to be not. the trans Mike from PA. The trans Mike hey. from PA. Nice. By the way, nothing on earth, listen, nothing on earth is 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 more satisfying to me than having a man whose video has 504 views total since last week tell me how I'm going to fail. While my video right now in being produced live has more views. I'm sorry, but it happens all the time, by the way. Listen, people joke about, like, people make comments about mansplaining. Do you know how many men I've had who have do not have successful channels tell me what I'm doing wrong? Do you know how many? It is unbelievable. These men come in and they're like, your channel's gonna fail because X reason. And I'm like, dude, my channel is surpassing you. I literally, the other day I went on to Twitch and I saw my, I went on to Twitch in the middle of the night and I saw my face being broadcasted on Twitch in the only person who was streaming into politics. I, they had less average viewers than me and they were telling me how I was failing and how my audience was gonna fail. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Get a grip. Yeah, I know. Well, that's been so sorted silent, to be fair. It did happen, but it's been, the, 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 the peace has been made. Peace has been made with President Sunday, okay? Although he did do that to begin with, I will say. They're just mad because they can't do as well and that allowed confident femme doing what they wish they could do. Yeah, 
True, Vermin. I mean, I agree. Like, I hate to bang that drum, but come on. Look at this. Nothing. And I don't normally flex on people, but he's talking about how my thing is going to fail. Like how I'm going to fail and my my thing is going to explode and I'm a loser. Okay, here, I'll, I'll check that after, Haley. Here, let me, let me save that and I'll put it into my document. Boop. So we can watch this after. Let's, let's get back to this. And she's just going to be an asshole that nobody wants to talk to. And what I'm afraid of is that she's artificially going to be propped up because hyena vosh's girlfriend oh no shots fired shots fired vermin shots fired at you damon mama derangement syndrome is real it is patient and patient zero was destiny and he transmitted it to thousands of people instantly holy shit and she's charming, and she's trans, and she makes goofy faces, and she makes good memes, and all that kind True, of shit. So you. she's just going to be stuck in this space forever, and we're just all going to have to deal with her. Oh, no, dude. You're not going to have to deal with me. You're going to have to deal with me going way bigger than this. Because I told you, this year... Thank you, Vermin. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I do happen to do pretty good with your retention. And the reason for it is, in my opinion, because I've put a lot of... I, fuck load of thought and care into what I do but who knows I do recognize I recognize very much that people have helped me grow that people like people like vermin and Vosh and the serfs have given me opportunities but what I'm saying is that all I've ever needed was an opportunity because I've been fucking crafting these skills for years and if you keep giving me the opportunity I'll show you how far I can go you keep giving me the help, I will prove it to you just how much I care about this shit because I am motherfucking hungry. You see? You see this face? This is the face of hunger. I want to make this shit as amazing as it can possibly be and entertain you all along the way. This right here, what we're looking at right here is sadness. This is hater. This is pathetic. This is whiner shit, low energy. This, what you're looking at right now, is what demon hunger looks like. We're going to see how fucking far we can go with this shit. And I have a feeling we're going to do some really amazing things. And you know what else? I'm going to be, I am taking active measures to not only make sure that I am at the top of my game, but that I stay at the top of my game. Because I'm not interested in being some two-bit personality that just disappears after two years. I want to be the motherfucking Undertaker. You got it? I want to be in the business for 25 fucking years. Winning every single WrestleMania you can imagine. And lifting up other people with me. That's what I want to do. Well, it's true. But that's because he's a cop. And he was an asshole. And he doesn't make good points. Let's continue. That's annoying to me. And I don't I don't care if she stays in the space forever. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm not in your space. But what I would like is your a space slight is evolution. What I would like is the minorest, the milk, the milky toasty toasty, the, the milks and the toasts mixed together into the milkiest of toasts. He's laughed at his own joke on this two times. Two times he's laughed at his own joke on that. Do we think that this is what like enter, like what is what people want to watch? Yes, I know I'm using it wrong. The milkiest of toastest of takes, which is, if you want to be an a if you want to be angry, okay. If you want to be a dickhole, okay. Be angry in a dickhole when you're actually angry or actually passionate about a subject. Don't just be an angry dickhole to every single person you talk to, and I feel like that is the smallest the smallest of asks so we can make the twitch debate sphere or the twitch panel sphere just like minorly less toxic i don't know about you dude but i'm not on twitch first of all i'm not on twitch yeah i sometimes hang out in twitch i sometimes do content with people on twitch but i'm not on twitch anymore i'm doing my own fucking thing 
You know what happens right now? You want to know what happens? Listen, this is going to be, I, I've done this before, shot fi shots fired, but guess what? The, in the last couple of weeks, I have been the primary content of a lot of the Twitch politics space. There's a few exceptions, Dylan Burns being an amazing creator, but a lot of people have just been talking about the content I made and commentating on it. So it sounds like I am making your space fresher. You all are talking about me. You all are talking about my content. You all are denouncing me and doing your half-baked takes for content. You're welcome. It's just true. Go fucking look at the VODs. A lot of people have been talking about me, including you right now. That's all I'm asking for. So, if it's like one takeaway, boiling this video down to a single sentence. You're mad is what it is. You're literally angry. Charitably. I hate that I hate that that's the only thing because they do say that to me but but is this not anger is this not just a dude being pissed off a mediocre the ego of a mediocre man be angry when you want to be angry be passionate when you want to be passionate but be genuinely angry and passionate about subjects that you care about and don't start from a default position that anybody you're talking to including allies, not me. Like who? But allies. Like who? Who? I have a ton of allies. I have a lot of, wait, people fucking, wait, do, does he think that I like don't have any bridges in the lefty sphere? I have a lot of bridges. In fact, he talked about them. Oh, does he think Destiny is my ally? Does he think that Destiny, the guy who actually tried to cancel me is my ally? Fuck no. Fuck no. Are just your fucking enemy that you need to rhetorically destroy. Yup, that's the it's, one, Posadas John. It's a terrible mindset. We'll bring it up afterwards. Hold on. It's gross and it's toxic. Hold on, let me bring it I up. I don't like it. Well, qu keep and whining, I'm call dude. It out. Keep whining, dude. So if Mike from PA does that on Friday, I'm gonna call him a dickhole and I might what tell him to stick his ass. What can I say except you Mama welcome. does that in the future? I'm basically gonna say to her, look. I said that I liked you multiple times. I said I respected you multiple times. You've spit in my face metaphorically a shitload. I'm done being nice. Okay. And then I'm just going to call her a fucking asshole to her face for fucking two you hours. You literally already called me a ripe cunt in this video. And we will get nothing productive. No, he was never done. nice to me. But no. it'll be good for the memes. So. Is what it is, friends. Like, share, subscribe, dislike, all that. Alright, had enough. Wow, that was a gift. Endernax, thank you so much, Endernax. Oh, I really appreciate that. That was fun. Listen, he doesn't deserve the attention. I'm literally giving him more attention than he deserves. That was one of the lowest effort videos I've ever fucking heard. Like, so low effort. No, that wasn't Endernax. No, Endernax sent me the video. That was counterpoints. Low energy shit.